live tackle, uh, I thought for the most part, uh, I saw good signs of certain guys stepping up and making plays, and other guys right there on the edge of getting to them and not quite ready yet, so it's a good uh, thing that those things happen so you can learn from it, improve and get better. But uh, you know, I think we've got capable players that work really hard. Uh, we're building depth, we're a little banged up in certain spots there where that's not happening now, but I would hope all of them are ready for fall camp. But uh, a lot of the newcomers have, have done well and improved, and a lot of the guys that have been here for two years uh, have really you know, shown improvement and promise, so uh, we just got to keep pushing forward. At this point, is the goal, especially with the skill guys, to just not really figure out, worry about the depth chart, but just kind of get them all you know, about equal reps? Well, I feel good that uh, our offensive line has worked hard. Uh, we've built some depth there that we feel really good about. We've got to continue to press forward with the tight ends and make sure that there, you know, there's some new pieces and understanding what we're doing is maybe the, the main thing that they're slightly behind with. Um, you know, receivers, without question, uh, Chris Bell has had a, a great camp and has really made a lot of plays. And we're going to need him to be a force for us. And uh, the other receivers are improving. Uh, and there's quite a list of them. Continue to get better. We just got to keep pushing that forward. We want to be as dominant as we can and be able to make plays in the passing game. At the running back position, we got depth and we've got some capable runners. Uh, they've all done a good job at this point, um, and uh, we feel good about it. And I think uh, Tyler Shuck has really made some plays. Has stood out. You can tell his experience and leadership has shown up. Uh, and the other young quarterbacks are, are getting better and they're getting closer uh, to feeling confident to get on the field and, and, and uh, direct the offense and help us score. And, uh, Jeff, you mentioned how there's a lot of players heading into their second year under your system. Do you think compared to this time last year, this team is a lot farther along considering there are so many people who already know this team and are in part kind of serving as leaders for those who are still actively trying to learn it? Without question, the, the people that are back for year two uh, are ahead of the game and uh, they've shown improvement. And even guys that maybe you would have liked to play a little bit better uh, last year, a little bit more, they've made strides, uh, pretty much all of them to, to, to quite a bit uh, extent. Uh, the newcomers show really good progress, show really good athleticism, uh, show really good talent. But we just got to keep keep working with them. And uh, every repetition matters, every day matters, every film session matters, every game like rep uh, matters. And we got to make sure that even when this spring practice is over, after they have a little break, that the uh, summer is critical uh, to make sure that we're constantly pushing the envelope on that because we need those those guys ready to go with game one. I guess when you do have guys who are banged up, some that are still coming during the summer, I guess how much can you get from spring camp? How much can you evaluate or what do you just kind of take from this time right now knowing that you don't have the full product yet? I think you got to be careful uh, in the spring. There's a lot of guys that have played a lot of football for us that uh, while improving and getting better is important, getting them healthy uh, and fresh to fall camp is vital. Uh, so, you know, there are some guys nicked up. There are some guys that are not going through it all due to injury. Uh, there are some guys that have been injured in camp to this point uh, that uh, unfortunately have had surgeries and they're going to be out for a while. So there's got to be a perfect balance. Um, but, uh, you know, the veterans have done a good job. And uh, every veteran that has produced for us has shown great signs. And the ones that have not practiced uh, will be ready for fall camp. I can guarantee you that. So we got to make sure that don't lose anybody uh, and that we have as many people ready for the first practice of, in August. Jeff, we talked to some guys earlier, like some of the receivers, and they kind of alluded to like how much you have to study to grasp this offense. From your experience, I guess how much time does it take for guys to get a little bit more comfortable? Is it different? Is it a similar trend? I guess, you know, how does it kind of take guys to kind of grasp what you like to do? Well, I think our guys uh, love football. Um, anytime you go into something new, Complexity of defenses is what kind of causes some confusion and the ability to know exactly what you're doing and, and being able to do it after the snap. You know, our defense does a lot. They disguise, they move after the snap. You've got to read what's going on. You've got to be sharp. And that takes some repetitions. I and mean, you can talk about it, you can draw it up but until you see it full speed and realize, oh man, I, I, yeah, I should have done this, I should have done that. Uh, you don't really know. So that's what normally just takes a while part of it at every level. I do think that, uh, you know, if our guys get a chance to play beyond college, they are prepared and uh, they're going to play at a high level and there's not a whole lot uh, that they haven't seen yet. Uh, but, uh, you know, the really good teams are not only sound and, and talented, but they can be complex and they're going to make sure they have answers and give you different looks and make you adjust and we have to be ready for that and 
pushing the envelope on their intelligence and knowledge has to constantly happen, so we got to push that forward. Jeff, you, Ron has talked a lot about the secondary and how the new pieces combined with obviously Quincy and some other guys coming back. The depth that you've built back there, it seems like it's a different guy making a play all the time when we see in, in, in these kind of scrimmages. Are you excited about what you've built with the depth? Well, I, well, I am in the secondary. I think our corner position is strong, and we've been able to stay uh, pretty healthy uh, throughout the camp. And uh, I think uh, at least five uh, young men are ready to play and uh, can produce for us. And we have some different packages where all five are on the field, and uh, we need to because they've done a really good job. At the secondary, we have had two young safeties go out with injuries uh, that have required surgery. So the depth is coming into play now where we, we needed the depth. So now it's, it's, it's more you know, too deep with some young guys that got to continue to develop. But the too deep we have it in the secondary, uh, you know, we feel good about it. They played football, they've been on the field. Uh, and that's really without uh, MJ Griffin even practicing a whole lot because he's not cleared to, to do full team activity. So we feel good about the secondary and they, they have to be a dominant force for us in order for us to be good. Jeff, do you think there's any one? What do you think is the one thing so far that these first four weeks of spring ball that's either stood out to you or surprised you the most? Well, I think the uh, on offense, the depth on the offensive line is uh, as good as we've had it uh, since I've been a coach. Uh, so we've got to push that forward. I think there's a lot of depth at running back. Uh, we got to make sure that those guys are touching the ball a lot of different ways. So that's been good. And, the positions are progressing. I think on defense, kind of what we talked about, uh, you know, there's some D linemen out that aren't going through things, uh, so you can't get a real test of what's going on. I think when they're back for the fall, we will have depth. Just right now, we do not. Uh, but the secondary depth, uh, we have not had that. You know? So that has to come in to play for us. We've got to not only play multiple guys, but there's got to be competition. You know, we have to have guys keep people fresh. We have to have guys that when some guy gets nicked up for a series or two or a game or two, the other one has to be no drop off. And, and to this point, we have made really good strides there.